Hey everybody, it's Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own one-man brake bleeder. This allows you to bleed the air from your brakes with only yourself and no other helpers. It saves you a lot of time. A one-man brake bleeder is a bottle of brake fluid with a hose that you connect to the bleeder valve. It allows you to continually pump the pedal with the valve open, pushing the fluid out and it doesn't suck air back in. This is what you need to make your own brake bleeder. You need a bottle. You can use any soda pop bottle. I like Gatorade bottles because they're sturdier and have a large cap. You also need a hose. You need the right size hose to fit over the brake bleeder valve. This is 3 16 inside diameter. It's a little bit tight, but you want tight so you get a good seal on the bleeder screw. You'll need some drill bits. The size of these depends on the size of your hose. This is a 5 16 outer diameter hose, so I have one of those. I also have a smaller bit to make an air hole in the lid. Of course, you also need a drill to drive those drill bits. You might also want a knife to cut the hose and to remove any burrs from your drilling. So the first step is to drill the holes in the lid of the bottle. I'm going to use the same small bit to make a pilot hole for the main hole and also to do the air hole. So I'm going to drill a hole in the very center of the cap. And then one more towards the side to let the air out. And then I'll enlarge the center hole with a 5 16 bit. Inside the cap, there's some extra plastic that didn't get broken off. That's where your knife comes in. The hole in the center of the cap should be a nice fit for the hose. Shouldn't be too loose, should be easy to slide through. Not too tight, but not too loose. Now we need to cut the hose to length. I always like to have enough to coil it around the bottom of the bottle a few times, then it comes out and has two or three feet so you have plenty to work with. So then just push the hose through the cap. until you have as much through there as you want. And then stick it down into the bottle. If you can see, I'm making sure it coils down in the bottom of the bottle. And then screw on the cap. And there you go, you just built your first one-man brake bleeder. If you liked the video, please give it a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And read the blog at mechanicalmalarkey.com. Thanks for watching.